A hobby quickly turned into a successful business for a Corpus Christi native. As Action 10 News' Mayra Cordoba found out, her success has even landed her a spot on Shark Tank. As a self-proclaimed makeup junkie, I probably bought and tried every cosmetic on the market. Meredith Jerica says she needed a practical makeup bag. It's a whole palette, like an artist palette now. When she couldn't find one, designing her own. It kind of came together over I would say at least five or six different times of me making it and changing this and adding this. The water resistant bags. This one fits about 20 cosmetics and it's very small. A hit among her friends. It became where I was making them frequently like every week, every few days. So she launched Makeup Junkie Bag on Facebook two years ago. In the first month, I got over 700 orders just through Facebook Messenger. Orders didn't stop. And I had a few ladies that would come into my home with their machines and help me to try to keep up with it, but I never got caught up because the orders kept pouring in. Even gaining national recognition. Published us in USA Today's 10 Best Travel Bags. Selling more than 50,000 Makeup Junkie Bags her first year. We cleared over a million dollars in sales, half of that just from making them out of my home. Her business growing online and more than 2,000 boutiques nationwide. We make thousands and thousands of bags every week. So in a leap of faith, 40,000 people applied for this season, only 100 people make it. Applying. There's no way we're going to make it to the next round. And landing a spot on Shark Tank. Got to spend some time with them and get some really solid advice for my business. Jerika says her company still feels like a dream. It hasn't really sunk in what's happened to our little company, how, how much is it, it's grown or the fact that I even have a company. But hopes to inspire others to turn a hobby into a successful business. Mayra Cordova, Action 10 News. That is fantastic. Well, Jerika currently employs more than 70 people. So did she accept a deal from one of the sharks? You'll have to tune in this Sunday to find out.